The highly anticipated march to parliament expected to take place on Tuesday has drawn attention from all sides. That is the government, the opposition, the civil society as well as the general public. What started as a social media joke is turning into a standoff between the state which says the march is illegal and a group of citizens who have vowed to march. Having witnessed what has been happening in Kenya in the recent weeks, government seems not to take chances on this march to parliament campaign that has been widely popularized on social media. In fact, President Museveni on Saturday warned the public against holding what he called illegal demonstrations. Some elements, some of them from opposition, are always with, working with the foreigners to foment chaos in Uganda. Riots, illegal demonstrations, illegal and inconsiderate processions, etc. These people are unfair and inconsiderate and they should check themselves. We shall have no alternative but to check them. Since last week, police have warned members of the public against demonstrating. Now, the president of the Opposition National Unity Platform Party, Robert Chagulanyi, has asked government to allow the citizens to demonstrate against those who are stealing public resources because it is their constitutional right. I like the fact that the young people of Uganda have taken it upon themselves. They say they are leaderless, they are tribeless, they are partyless and they are fearless. So we encourage that. I wouldn't want anybody to target on me. Like I said, I support them 100%. But there comes a time even when people must lead from the front or from the back. These same young people are leading from the front. I'm cheering on you. And don't be shocked to see me there. But I don't want to assume leadership of that cause. I want you, the young people, to march. But this comment comes at a time Joel Senyuni. The man whom he appointed earlier this year as the leader of opposition in parliament is facing public criticism over corruption with some Ugandans calling for his resignation. I believe in evidence and I challenge all those people to bring evidence and indeed to go ahead and prosecute Honorable Senyoni and we shall also take action. Whenever I say that the Honorable Mpuga and the other commissioners were involved in corruption, the evidence is there and they have accepted to take this money, they are not in denial. When I say that the speaker is involved in corruption, the evidence is there. And the speaker has even made it easy. She has admitted. She was in Luengo, and she said it is okay to steal as long as you share with your voters. That's an admission of corruption. So when I speak out against these ills, the speaker and all those other people now, they are working through certain elements to mad sling me. They will not succeed. I'm not going to keep quiet. Tomorrow's anti-corruption protests in Uganda seems to have been inspired by the partial success of the anti-government protests in Kenya led by the young people dubbed Gen Zs. However, it remains to be seen if the Kampala protest will take place. Daniel Kibet, NTV.